the equilibrium constant for an electrochemical reaction is the options are given here the given values are the standard reduction potential of fe3 plus 2 fe2 plus is 0.75 volt standard reduction potential of sn4 plus 2 sn2 plus is 0.15 volt comparing these two values this value has more value usually the larger the value of the standard reduction potential the easier it is for the element to be reduced so it has the more possible to reduce fe3 plus to fe2 plus so this value is supposed to be e0 cathode or e0 r value it is e0 r is equal to 0.75 volt of course it should be e0 l or e0 anode value 2.303 rt divided by f is equal to 0.06 volt according this values sn2 plus is oxidized into sn4 plus plus 2 electron minus it's e0 l is equal to 0.15 volt or e0 anode is equal to 0.15 volt ferric ion is reduced into ferrous ion it's e0 or or e0 cathode is equal to 0.75 volt balancing this two equation we multiply this equation by 2 then we add this two equation we get the overall electrochemical reaction standard reduction potential is an intensive property meaning that changing the stoichiometric coefficient in a half reaction does not affect the value of standard potential if the stoichiometric coefficient is multiplied by 2 the standard potential does not change In this equation, we can calculate the number of electrons involved in this electrochemical reaction. Here, two electrons are involved, so n is equal to 2. The cell potential in terms of the equilibrium constant, E0 cell is equal to RT divided by NF ln K. By rearranging this equation in terms of log K, we get NF e0 divided by 2.303 rt now we calculate e0 cell e0 cell can be calculated by e0 cathode minus e0 anode or e0 cells equal to e0 r minus e0 l we have these two values substituting these values in this equation we get e0 cell value of 0.6 volt the given value is 2.303 RT divided by F is equal to 0.06 volt, but we need F by 2.303 RT. So invert this equation, we get 1 by 0.06. Now we have all the values, substituting this N value, this value and E0 value, we get log K is equal to 20. By taking anti-logarithm, we get k values equal to 10 to the power of 20. Now we check the options. In the given option, the second option having 10 to the power of 20. So the equilibrium constant for this electrochemical reaction is 10 to the power of 20. The second option is the correct answer. Thank you.